Hi you guys, so today is in another edition of Fit Friday. I think this is the third week. I mean, yeah, whatever. That doesn't really matter all that much. But let's talk about um, my body. Um, more specifically, let's talk about what it feels like to be a mid-sized girl. So I'm not really um, like the right, they, they call them straight sizes. So I'm not really straight sizes because I am technically a size 12. Well, not technically, I am a size 12. And I'm not plus size because plus size generally goes from 14 up. And so I kind of get screwed. I'm right in the middle and um, I have a really hard time shopping for clothes, more specifically pants because I can fit in generally all um, straight sized dresses and tops. I'm a size large. But then in pants, I am very firmly a size 12. And a lot of department stores or a lot of like regular stores that you would go to like Forever 21 or any of those stores, they don't have size 12s because they're plus sized. But the problem is, is that plus size stores, they don't have size 12 either. They're, they have size 14s. And so I have a really, really difficult time, especially with my body shape. And um, yeah, it's definitely a huge challenge and it's really freaking annoying because I am so average, like my body type in general is just so average and it's really frustrating not being able to find clothes that fit me. That's why I started having to buy clothes online because I found a brand that uh, their clothes actually fit me and so I pretty much buy everything from them and I know that it's like killing stores, like department stores and stuff, but you don't have my size. You don't have clothes that fit me. So what does it matter? Like I'm gonna have to shop somewhere else. So um, more specifically with my particular body type, I have a very hourglass shape. So my chest and my hips are um, almost exactly the same measurement and then my waist is quite a bit smaller so for reference I am a 39 uh, 33 and a 40 so I'm pretty hourglass and I have a larger butt so my butt actually at its widest point is 46 inches which means that there's quite a huge gap between my butt and my waist or even just my butt and my hips, which makes uh, finding pants that fit me virtually impossible. I pretty much have to wear high-waisted pants in order to get something that fits me correctly, or um, I get butt crack central like all the time. I can basically fit like five stuffed animals in my waistband if they are not higher waisted just because they just don't make pants for people who have my body size or my body shape and yeah it becomes really difficult and honestly it's super disheartening like I have left stores crying and I don't consider myself to be plus size I mean I guess that some people would consider me to be plus size but not I consider myself to be really extremely average and that's why it's even more frustrating because I'm like I it it really it's really frustrating to be average and still not be able to find your clothes in stores like it really is I have for sure left places in tears like I love to shop but I have been just inconsolable like just so ashamed of myself and hating my body just because a pair I couldn't find a pair of pants that fit me Okay, so now that we have talked about that, if you guys want me to go more into that, let me know and I will. I just kind of wanted to do like a quick thing. So uh, now that that is out of the way, I have a recipe for you that is coming up right now. So I basically am making pasta sauce and taking you through the entire process that I go through or that I do making this pasta sauce. So the ingredients and then the steps, like how I chop things and blah, blah, blah. Anyways. It's super fun. Um, it's my first like recipe video, so we'll see how it goes. But yes. 
Hi you guys, so today I'm going to show you how I make this pasta sauce. I guess you call it spaghetti sauce, but it's not really spaghetti sauce. Anyway, so I'm starting with cherry tomatoes, mushrooms, basil, zucchinis, onion, garlic, carrots, some seasoning that I got at TJ Maxx, it's just Italian seasoning. This is um, some specialty olive oil, Meyer lemon, and then another specialty olive oil, this is uh, smoky chipotle olive oil. You could use just regular. So I'm gonna start off by just chopping up the mushrooms. I put those in first because they take the longest to cook. Well, not really the longest, but they do take a while. So I'm putting some of that smoky chipotle oil and then I'm just cooking them up until they're nice and small, I guess. And that's the Meyer lemon oil. And I basically just use my spoon as a measuring device. <laughs> I think I just fill it. I think that was like three quarters of the way. And I put the, I, so I get the oil really hot so that it sizzles, but it doesn't smoke. And then I put my cherry tomatoes in there. And I actually will cook those like for quite a long time. I want them to pop. So I make an even layer on the bottom. I don't want them stacked on top of each other. So that's the, where you can see that they're starting to pop. So those are when they're pretty much done. So I'm just chopping a onion and some garlic and the basil. And then I'm gonna grate the carrot and the zucchini. I have pretty much only one size grater, I know. It's stupid, it's from Ikea, but whatever. So I'm grating, I grated two zucchinis and one carrot. And then I put the garlic and the onion in with the tomatoes. You can see the tomatoes are really soft now and they're perfect. So there's little burn bits on the bottom. I actually really like those. And then I put in the carrot and now the zucchini. mixing them all together and then I put two cans of tomato sauce plain tomato sauce and then I am using my spoon again as a measuring device and I'm putting in that seasoning just Italian seasoning and then um, one tablespoon of that's actually sugar I forgot to show you that it was sugar and then one tablespoon of salt so once that's cooked for a while I put in my mushrooms and the basil. And I mix it all together, and then I put the lid on it. Okay, and now I'm just grounding up some beef, or browning up some beef, I should say. And now here's the final product. So I put rice noodles with the pasta sauce and some Parmesan, and that's it. Well, there it is. There is my recipe. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, make sure to subscribe. Please hit that like button, follow me on Instagram, I'm at Pin Up and Fantasies, and at Snapchat, I'm TRMT. I really hope that you liked this. If you could like this type of video, you know, make sure to let me know so that I will continue doing them. And until next time, bye!